what would you have America do right now? And um, it's it's kind of funny in a way to and, and by the way, I, again, as I mentioned, this person asked in good faith, I believe, because they said it kind of like they were like, look, honest question. I'm not trying to be antagonistic here, but like, you know, if you're not even for sanctions and you're obviously against war, what would you do? And it's kind of funny to be like, you know, from my perspective, you're like, so you're not for killing people and you're also not for starving people. So then what else is there? You know, I'm like, think about that, you know, just as a human being for a little, there's other options anyway. Um, but I, I said, and I, I didn't want to say anything that sounded too lofty or like, you know, pie in the sky that can't practically happen. So I was like, you know, I wasn't going to be like, well, abolish NATO, abolish all governments and everyone live harmoniously or something like that, even though that would be kind of ideal. But I just said, I was like, well, how about this? How about we offer Russia a treaty that says we promise to never incorporate Ukraine into NATO contingent on the immediate withdrawal of, uh, you know, Russian forces from Ukraine. And if you do that, we'll also end all sanctions. I'm not saying I'm, I guarantee that would work. Quite possibly it wouldn't. But I think there's a shot it would. You know, why not take that shot? Why not say, look, here's here's a situation where you're incentivized to, to immediately withdraw. And you, there'll be benefit for you on that. You can spin it to your people like I backed down the Americans and got what I wanted. We can spin it to our people like we ended the bloodshed. Everybody wins. Everybody gets a little something at least. And then maybe we can talk about getting back in the, the you know, like nuclear treaty deals and all that stuff and kind of like de-escalating tensions. Then maybe we can negotiate more and more and more from there. Now, the overwhelming response I got from detractors was like, sure, give Putin everything he wants. Oh, yeah, so you just wouldn't want to punish Putin at all for what he's done. And this is the crazy thing about war fever, is that I go, so even in my hypothetical, right, it was contingent on him immediate, his immediate withdrawal. So if he doesn't do it, he doesn't do it. Okay, we tried, and he won't do it. And if anything, if he won't do it, then it strengthens the American case. Oh, well, look, we offered him this stuff and he still won't do it. So whatever. But the point is that you're like, so you are so angry. You know, this is war fever. So you're like, this is so fucked up that Vladimir Putin invaded because it's so wrong what he's doing to the people of Ukraine. But if I offer you a path where he'd have to stop that right now in order for the deal to happen, and there'd have to be so much less bloodshed, you still won't take that because you have this desire for bloodshed because you have this desire for vengeance against this guy. Somehow that's more important than just reducing the amount of bloodshed. Like it's, it's more important to have this symbolic, now nah, fuck this guy. We got to win and he's got to lose than to just, I don't know, take the threat of nuclear war off the table to take the threat of even if you care, you know, because I know all of you guys care so much about the Ukrainian people, you know, just like you cared about the Kurds for two weeks and just like you care about, you know, like all the, the, the Yazidis when they were up in the mountains in Iraq or whatever, whenever whenever we need a war, there's a, you know, yeah, Coney, that's a great example. Yeah. Just like you guys cared about Coney for six days in 2012 or whatever, whenever that was, you know, just like, yeah, you guys care about this so much for the moment, not so much about the, the people of Yemen. We don't care about them so much, but you really, really, really care because you're such humanitarians about the people of Ukraine. But even saving the people of Ukraine, that's not really what we care about. What we really care about is winning and then punishing and beating. <coughs> and we'll punish some old lady who happens to be a Russian, you know, in the name of we're punishing, you know, the Russians because they're all guilty at this point. The Russians are all guilty and they deserve to suffer. The Americans for, you know, the crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan and Libya and Syria and Yemen and Somalia. No, we don't deserve to suffer for that. But the Russians deserve to suffer for this. 